So the geology of the park is pretty well mapped, especially in recent years. So we have a pretty good idea of where the fossil producing units are. The hard part is actually getting feet on the ground. It's kind of hard to get around here. It's a lot of walking, it's a lot of hiking, and it's about opportunity. You've got to be there when the fossils are just coming out and be able to spot them and recognize them for what they are, and then hopefully you get permission to collect. So this was my first trip out to Big Bend, and I've, I've spent a lot of time looking at Big Bend on maps, geologic maps, looking at, at Google Earth maps, looking at satellite images, and trying to understand the landscape and what I might can find there. It is so vast and so large, and you cover so little ground in a day, in, in several days out there, because there's so many nooks and crannies little washes, hillsides to explore. It is, it's huge. The rocks are the right kind out here in the park. So they're deposited in the right conditions, of the right age, and they're exposed out here. If you take a look at the landscape around you, there's very little vegetation. There's a lot of bare rock. There's a lot of erosion happening. And that's what paleontologists need. And that's what we look for when we're out exploring and trying to find fossils. For what we're looking for, there is nowhere else in Texas like Big Bend.